Hi guys, Zenicastral476 here. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be walking you through the entirety of the Firebase Z Easter egg. Uh, this is a really, really easy Easter egg compared to some of the other maps in the past. Um, I'll say it's a bit harder than Die Machine, but it's a lot around the same amount of time to do. Uh, there's only one step really which takes a while and can be quite complicated, but I will get to all of that later on in the video. Uh, boss fight is easy, it just takes a while, but yeah. Uh, hope you enjoy this, um, but without further ado, let's just get straight to the first step. So then guys, the first step which you need to do, you can do straight off the bat as soon as you spawn into the map. Uh, you'll see this icon for Ravenov, just make your way over to him and talk to him. Once you have exhausted his dialogue, you then want to make your way up to the teleporter, whether that's by opening the door or doing the parkour. As you see here, just go through the teleporter and you will then be put into the firebase. Once you are inside the firebase, you will see uh, three prompts to go to ether reactors. Just go to them and pay 500 to turn them on. And pretty much you just want to protect all of the things which say to protect them. And you will see that uh, once you've done that, all three of the reactors will then do a pulse and it will be repaired. So then guys, once you have done all three of them and it's prompted you that they are finished, uh, you then want to make your way back through the teleporter to go back to spawn and talk to Ravenov yet again. And now once you have exhausted his dialogue, go back through the teleporter and you want to make your way into the mission control room. Go down the stairs and you'll see behind you there is this window with Dr. Peck inside. Just talk to him and exhaust his dialogue. And you guessed it, once you've exhausted his dialogue, go straight back through the teleporter, back to spawn, and talk to Ravenov yet again. Uh, once you have talked to him, he will then give you a keycard, and you can use that on three lockers, which are scattered around the map. So, find the, cop. the first of these three lockers is in spawn in the equipment storage, as you can see here, open it up, and you want to pick up the compound which is inside. Second one is in the colonel's office, as you can see, open it up and there'll be in yet another compound inside. And the last one is in the engineering room, as you can see the final locker right here. Once you have picked up all three of those compounds, you then want to come back to the field hospital and you want to put them in this machine here. Now just be careful, uh, quite a few dogs will spawn. But all you want to do is wait for it to stop spinning round and you will be able to hold square on it again and you will then be able to pick up this vacuum. So then guys you don't want to come to the side of this big ball looking building and you want to place the vacuum on top of that ventilation system right there. You then want to make your way back down to Dr Peck and you will see that you start gassing him out. Now he will start dancing around and eventually you will be given the option to talk to him. Take that option to talk and you will then get to talk to him obviously and he will then tell you what to do so guys once his dialogue has exhausted you then want to make your way through to the data center come over to this machine here and hold square to unlock it you'll then be able to pick up these essence traps pick them up and we will now on to the next step so guys for the next step you need to have those uh, essence traps and you need to get the mimics inside of them now uh, in order to get a mimic you will need to look around for chopper gunners, sentry turrets, grenades and stuff like that which are on the floor um, and you just want to like, run over them a couple of times and it has a chance of popping out a mimic. Now when you do have the mimic you need to bring them to certain parts of the map so one of these areas is in the colonel's office, uh, the other one is in the uh, data center where you put the floppy disk no way but the essence traps into the computer and the last one is inside of spawn area so once you have got the mimic in the correct area you need to get it on quite low health and you need to then put the trap on the floor and suck him into it if done correctly the trap should have like a purple glow on it and you will be able to pick it back up from there just take it and put it into the actual machine where you got the trap from which be careful so you don't actually pick up a new one, make sure it does say that it's able to go in. Once it does actually go in the machine, we'll say downloading memories and a character will start talking. Uh, depending on where you put it, a different character would start talking, so that could either be Zabine, Sokolov or Brahms. 
Um, if you do have one of these characters, then well done, you are like, on your track to getting this easter egg done. If it does say a different character, however, just try it with a different like mimic in different area. Look, try a different place to the one which you just tried, uh, of the three which I just said. But yeah, just keep on getting mimics and you will eventually get those three names. This is why I also said it's like helpful to have subtitles on because you can make sure that the right person is talking properly. Um, but yeah, uh, once you do have those three names, Weaver will then start talking to you and you are able to move on to the next step. So guys, once Weaver has stopped talking to you, the computer will then say that uh, it's downloading the contents to the disk and give it a minute and it will eventually spit out a floppy disk. From there you want to run over to this computer and you want to put the floppy disk inside of it. Once the floppy disk is inside of the computer, that big uh, ball looking building will then open up and a portal will be inside it. From there you just want to go talk to Peck again and he will then close his window and you will then see the locker on the side. Um, it will then open up and there will be an item on the floor which you can pick up. Once you have picked it up, you will then need to make your way over to the Scorched Defence and you will find a shovel inside one of the bunkers. So guys, once you have the shovel, you want to make your way over to the side of the engineering place and you will see there is a place that you can dig right there in the corner. Once you have dug it up, you will see a canister comes out uh, with a crystal inside it and then lots more canisters will be appearing. Um, around the planning offices and the engineering place and also just outside so what you want to do is you want to look into these canisters and you will see a crystal and um, a white light with some black smoke you want to look around for like pretty much the canister with the crystal inside it which does not have the black smoke so as you can see here I've put them side by side where one which has the black smoke and one which doesn't uh, but pretty much when you found the one which doesn't have the black smoke on it, you just want to hold square on it to pick it up. If you do accidentally pick up the wrong one, uh, like I did here, uh, no worries, lots and lots of mimics will come in. Um, but once you've killed them, just flip the round and you will be able to try it again. So guys, once you do have that crystal picked up, that will be one out of three canisters which you need. So let's move on to the next one. So for the next crystal you need to come over to the jungle defence area of the map and you want to go past the actual defences and down into the jungle and as you'll see you get a prompt to dig for the second time. Now this crystal when you do dig uh, it will come out yellow and you will start to see a yellow what, dome form around you. Um, pretty much you and your team need to stay inside of this dome uh, for about two to three minutes um, bear in mind lots of uh, manglers will come, lots of uh, mimics will come, zombies, dogs, pretty much everything on the map will come flying at you so just make sure that you uh, do survive. Um, it's good to have ether shroud but keep in mind that the dome does shrink over time. Um, so once you have uh, done this for about two to three minutes with all your team staying inside this green circle um, you will then be able to pick up the canister from the middle um, once you've done that that will be two out of three canisters done so let's move on to the last and easiest canister um, but for this you will need the ray K so make sure to get that before you start once you have got the ray K you then want to come to the side entrance of the field hospital and you will see this area to dig dig it up and you'll see the third canister come out of the ground and you need to pretty much look for it around like this whole barracks area and you want to shoot it with an upgraded shot of the Reiki and then you want to uh, shoot that uh, like orb thing and it will power up and while it's powering up you want to quickly go and collect the canister um, so once you do have that that's all three canisters done um, so yeah let's move on to the next step so guys with those three canisters which you have got return to each E3 reactor and you want to hold square on them to put the canisters inside. Now once you have done that you will be prompted to go back to that big circle looking building which is called the OPC and you need to sit through quite a lot of dialogues just make sure that you're training the last zombies this can take quite a while to go through um, but once it has all done you then want to go into the planning offices and you want to head over to this computer here. 
you will then uh, be able to turn it on and there will be this screen you will have a little white light with a bunch of uh, yellow lights and obviously the earth now with the little white light you want to move it around with the d-pad and hover over each of these yellow lights and it will pop up with a flag in the bottom right hand corner uh, keep on doing that until you get to the flag where there isn't a flag there and it's just a question mark once you do get to the one with the question mark just press x on it and then you will have the satellite actually turn on the big satellite on top of the uh, lab thing and then you will see that the red beams of light come out of it and from there you can go back into the OPC and this cutscene will start playing with Samantha um, but before you do go on to this cutscene just be warned that this is the boss fight so make sure that you get fully prepared and everything before you actually activate this cutscene because we were so underprepared we failed it on our first try um, but yeah that's pretty much it uh, you're into the boss fight now and I will explain that now so then guys now you have watched the cutscene you will then see this big monster comes out the ground and is at the side of the spawn area so you will then be put into the fight and I would highly recommend getting some monkeys um, and I would highly recommend at least one member on your team does have the ring of fire so monkeys obviously if somebody goes down um, and the ring of fire just to put as much damage into the boss as you possibly can um, I would also recommend pack punching your guns if you have the like, points because obviously you're in spawn area near pack punch um, that's just easy to do and if you do go down and you lose your perks there's no worries because the uh, wonderfish machine is directly next to the pack punch from uh, doing this fight we learnt that the boss only has a couple moves uh, one of the most notable ones is when he slams uh, one of his hands like down directly in front of him um, but to completely avoid that just stay a good distance away from him um, another move that we noticed was he like spits out these weird fireballs that have like fireflies in them I believe and they like cover your screen blinding you and they also like deal quite a bit of damage but it does it like over a bit of time um, and it can also spawn uh, mimics, panzer soldats or manglers whatever you want to call them um, and pretty much any Thing that's in the map like dogs and as I said mimics uh, so yeah it's just a very big uh, endurance fight a lot like Gale from Dark Souls 3 it does take quite a while but if you keep on firing bullets into him then you will not have any worries with this fight and you'll get it done eventually um, as the ring of fire is really helpful to get his health down um, just even if like he's low just throw a monkey bomb and absolutely fly bullets into him and as you can see here we did actually get it me and spencer so yeah this is the cutscene i'll let you enjoy it from here on out thank you so much for watching this video um make sure to like and subscribe this did take me absolutely ages to do um but yeah if you want more tutorials like this just let me know down in the comments but i will see you in the next one goodbye coming with us there is an operation underway in the Ural mountains I have to stay in the field this is the only way I told you once Omega is not who we are I do this for the good of the motherland for the good of us all try not to break anything else remember there's nothing so broken but it cannot be fixed Sam, are you okay? I'm ready to come in, Mira. We have a lot to talk about. Finally! Could you have taken any longer to get here? You were smart to transmit your research. You demonstrated loyalty, to an extent. To an extent? What more do you want? Just wait until we get back to Moscow. 
We'll see what the Colonel thinks about this. Really? Do you really want to know what I think? I think I want to see a demonstration of your commitment to Omega. Tell me, Doctor. Which is your better eye? 